special areas I had to pass with my team to put out the flames from the forest fires we had to respond to. I saw the struggle with no home, no insurance, no food, lost of loved ones, lost the way of life for other people. I came home, got I did to see my family waiting for me with the hands wide open, smiles and tears upon their faces. My mother, my sister, my cousin, everyone was there. I came home after the welcoming ceremony. Breakfast was already ready, hooked up with the news on the TV, and what I saw was basic war. Basic blood yet again, automatic rifles, bullets, handguns, grenades, RPGs, explosions, blood, blood, blood. It was almost on every channel I would switch to and, and like turn off the TV and go outside. And so I did. I sat in my chair and watched the people that were passing by the neighborhood. I had my headphones on me with some ambient music on. And basically, it was peace that I looked into. People were smiling. They were hugging, couples holding hands, parents walking with their children, some old, some young, to yet experience life as it is, dogs playing, basic happiness. And all of that, I compared it to the place I came back from. What was it? It was gore. It was everything I never wished that would happen to my country, my state, my neighborhood, my friends, and my family. Yet, it all seemed so remarkable. It seemed so peaceful that I was surprised even after that long time. But I passed beyond that thinking. After a few days of my return, I got news that my granddad passed away, unfortunately. Several days before I came back from the field, his age, though, was 59 years old. He died because of lung cancer. He was two hours away from me, so I obviously drove to the graveyard. I left a black rose next to his grave as I made him a promise that the last time I saw him, that I'll do what he says, and that is the rose that I let down next to his grave. I let down the respective tear, and I said to myself that life is like that. Though driving back wasn't the easy part, my senses hit me that just because he lived in an area where the air wasn't so, it was health that good, I could have made him leave to come and stay with me and my family, but it was his the shift. Not much passed. The fire spread out, it reached my area, and the situation got critical, and I was so fed up with everything when I woke up and saw the fire that morning just being there, burning everything, and that's when I said to myself, why is nature doing this to us? Why? Why do we keep doing that to the mother nature? Why did we start to destroy it so easily? which was given to us so hardly. Why do we need to suffer? Why do we need to accomplish objections rather than solutions and be given the consequences we deserve and know at the same time? I just wish, I just wish that we had a solution to all of this. To stop the losses, to stop the heat, to stop us and rechange the direction on which we believe we will succeed and make our world a better place from a young age for a better generation and world to come.